In this video, we'll look at whether barium chloride, that's BaCl2, is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. We need to first look and see what type of compound we have to figure out if it's an electrolyte or non-electrolyte. So barium, that's a metal, and chlorine, that's a non-metal. So we have a metal and non-metals. That's going to be an ionic compound. And if this is a soluble compound, when it dissolves, it'll split apart into its ions. If you know your solubility rules, ionic compounds that have chlorine, the chloride ion here, they are soluble in water. So it'll dissolve and split apart into its ions in water. So since barium is in group two on the periodic table, that'll break apart. We'll have the barium two plus ion, since it's in group two, and then chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That'll form the chloride ion, Cl1 minus. Since we have two here, this subscript, that means we have two of these chloride ions, which makes sense. Two times one minus is two minus, two minus and two plus. They balance out, give us this neutral compound here. We should add a little AQ after the barium ion and the two chloride ions to show that they're dissolved in water. And since these are dissolved in water and they're charged, that means the solution will conduct electricity. And BaCl2, that is an electrolyte. In fact, since this dissociates completely in water, it's soluble in water, we consider barium chloride to be a strong electrolyte. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.